Welcome back to the Nibirium Show. Today we review WWE Raw and SmackDown. Me and Marisa are on Raw now. Rapado! John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. And Dean Ambrose now on Raw. What? So I guess there are a few ways Corbin is over. Looks like it. And now Miz will be as Cena feuding with Ambrose or just as Miz. Ambers went literally insane, but he's fun though. So two lunatics are going to feud between each other for the Intercontinental Championship. Sounds good, sounds fun, great. More Miz and Marie's always. New Day lost, great, Revival won again. New Devil sucks, New, New, New Day are just boring. Revival looks great, looks dominant, looks healy, looks, looks cool, looks edgy, just the right way. Cruiserweight division is going somewhere, and and I'm sh I'm not sure they decided who's gonna dethrone Neville yet. And until this will happen, I don't really care about this division because it's just too dominant by one person, while others looks just so weak, so desperate. I don't know. I don't know what's going. What's going? What's going? What? I don't know what's happening there. Samojo and Seth Rollins are going to settle their shit when. If you remember, yeah, Samojo interfered a few times and punched Seth Rollins a bit here and there. So uh, they are going to settle their score. Okay. I mean, they probably should have done it, but let's see the way they book it. Charlotte lost again, almost hurt herself twice in the match. It was kind of botch, botchy moves. Uh, but at least she's now on SmackDown, spoiler alert, so maybe there is something there. But she looks weak, very, very weak now. She's losing again, again, and again. Lost her streak, lost her WrestleMania, lost last week, lost this week. So she just switching shows because everybody already fucking beat her. Wyatt now confronting both Balor and Orton doesn't make any sense for any of them. I thought Balor's gonna be competing for US Championship. Doesn't look like it now. He's gonna compete for nothing. Miz lost to Zayn. Poor Mizzy Miz. Can't even stand against Semi now. Where he was just half a year ago. We thought he's gonna be the most powerful wrestler. And he's gonna defeat Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. And he was the king. He was the best. I'm the best. Now he is just losing to everyone. Which is sad. Which is sad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Strawman. Thank you, Strawman. Thank you, Strawman. Roman Reigns is dead. Roman Reigns is dead. Oh yes. Oh yes. Should have happened few years ago. Oh yes. Oh yes. Should have happened few years ago. Um, tag team match was okay, but I don't want really Cesaro and Sheamus to be too good and too good of a guys, too good guys, since everyone is behind Hardy Boys, so uh, we're gonna have uh, too many, too much, too many happy faces over there, sort of that, when everyone is face and Owens lost and got beaten up by both Ambrose and Jericho, Owens now look weak. And that's coming from WrestleMania where he won clean, which is strange. What the hell is going on there? Nobody knows. But what happens next? What? Owens finally shaved and now he's on SmackDown because everybody on Raw already beat him. They just pushed him out of this program into the next one. Then we got more Wyatt family, boring poop shit. Bray is not even on the shows anymore. He's just on the screen. He just talks. He's not the and he pretends he's powerful while he's not really. Tag team division of SmackDown looks weak, very weak. I don't know if they're gonna make it any more powerful, which doesn't look like it. I mean, shake up is done, right? So who's coming to help the division? Nobody. I mean, shining stars are not helping anyone. Okay. Okay. And then Emojo Rally and Gronkowski are back, beat again, happen, nobody cares. Why, why are you repeating this? Why it's the same? It's no, why, why, why? It was bad at WrestleMania, it's bad now. 
Women's division now looks interesting in SmackDown. Charlotte lost to everyone on Raw, so she's will have a shot at that SmackDown title because probably it's easier there. Um, Becky Lynch, I guess it's her new looks. New look, it's her. It's her new. It's her new look now. Okay. Okay. Not really excited for anything in this division. Ziggler versus Nakamura is going to be fun. Damn, Nakamura delivers. What a weird, cool-looking guy. Can't wait for his debut. Can't wait for his debut on the main show, probably on the payback. Crowd was electric, singing, which was good. And again, let him fight. But we're gonna need to wait for payback. And the show ended with AJ Styles winning triple threat match for the fur. And he's now the first contender for Owens title. Interesting. I guess he's gonna win it essentially. Um, uh, good. I mean. He's gonna elevate the title. Title's gonna elevate him a little bit. Who's gonna carry it after him or he, who he's gonna feud with? Interesting, interesting, we'll see. That's it. That's it for wrestling. That's it for wrestling. Quickly reviewed everything. Maze and Marie's are looking happy, even though they lost every match.